Hello guys! Today I want to talk to you about planners, sketchbooks and stuff like that. I've been looking for a ring binder to make my sketchbook and my planner. So I found this at Amazon and the cover is the, a cardboard like my sketchbook and my journal. So I, I was so happy because I found this but when I received the, the, the pack I saw this little detail. Look, the, the cover is damaged. Yeah, <laughs> what a pity. But I don't know I didn't know what to do. So you can see here like this I don't know, I, I think uh, an accident with the package but uh, Amazon always send things on, in, into boxes and I could return but this uh, came from China and I didn't have time to wait so I decided to change to make uh, a new cover to make some craft work here and <laughs> I didn't know what to do because I, I wanted to, to draw something on the cover and well first I have to put here a little piece of cardboard because this is really broke broken <laughs> and I have to do it in both sides and I saw an uh, inspiration on a Facebook group, a friend Lena Angelino, she used a piece of uh, a pair of jeans with the pocket in the cover of her her sketchbook, no, her planner, and I decided to do the same thing with my little touch, my little inspiration also. So I I took this, and I'm going to use Frida Kahlo as the fashion girl to decorate this this cover this ring binder and let's see what I what I made I want to share with you this suggestion <laughs> let's see together well this is the result of this the the ring binder transformation. I use this Frida Kahlo in the cover and I use the, the pair of jeans, some trimming here and here, some vintage buttons and the Frida Kahlo. I didn't want to make a, a to put a paper fashion girl so I, I took some cotton fabric and I drew the illustration and I use coffee to, to do this watercolor effect on the, the face and with acrylic paints I, I paint <laughs> and I embroider with wool those flowers like Frida Kahlo used to wear this is so Frida Kahlo style and with some beads I made the, the rings, earrings and the, the necklace. Ne I have to put a little glue here so I, I don't want to ruin this with the movements. Well, I also put this wax seal with my logo, but this is not uh, made of wax. I don't know, it's kind of silicone, a uh, rubber, I don't know what, uh, what material is this. But I love the color and the chic. And I also use those buttons to we can hang some stuff. I want to show this tag I made with my fashion girl. Here we can put the, the year of the planner or the subject the sketchbook we, we are going to use for, and it's really useful. Well, those buttons all are useful and decorative <laughs> is this. Here's some tags, 
I use the pocket, it's really uh, useful this, this pocket also. And here I put some other buttons. We can uh, put uh, a tassel, a bow, a bow, a charm, or a tag like this. So we can see the, the subject of the, the sketchbook uh, again, or I don't know. In the back, I use another wax seal, fake wax, <laughs> and and a velvet ribbon, and a little button. Let's see inside. Here I use fabric in this background and some velvet ribbons. I put here a tag with my Frida Kahlo. As is, I use fabric. I can put some I don't know uh, paints here and those pockets. I uh, really useful. As I also put the buttons here, I made this this pocket, this little pocket, and another bigger here. And the end, I another bigger. Well, I use three pockets here, two in the front, here one in the back. Let's see. really easy to do this, it's really useful. I try to use the colors, the strong colors uh, that remember me, Frida Kahlo and her style. And this is the inspiration. Now, I want to make a little flip book with you to show that this, at first, uh, it was a planner, but it will be a planner, a sketchbook, an organizer. I would put my ephemera here, some memories, and a lot of stuff I use to to keep into books. I use this big Fida Kahlo as a little cover. And here I, I use a little piece of cardboard to make this, this element, I use a little piece of the, the flowers, Fida Kahlo, here also. He has a bookmark. This is a spread, a planner spread that I made in a, in a video here, in a tutorial. This and this, Fida Kahlo and the Spring Lady, I don't, I don't remember, no, uh, Autumn Lady. Oh. Here I journaling. I use I I sew here the other fashion girl that I that I paint in this process, and I document everything I did. A really good memory to remember la, uh, how I I made this this cover. I don't know, I, I'm completely addicted with this this binder now. Some pieces that I <laughs> that I trim Frida Kahlo, here some journaling. I love this this effect to use little illustrations with the holes. Thank you James, James. It was a big inspiration for me to do it. Marcelino. Marcelino is like a, a little Marcelo. Some journaling, some memories. Here I write some some memories from Mary Poppins project I made. Here I glued the, the studies I made to make the, the uh, Mary Poppins bag in the, the last tutorial. So I glued here. Now my fashion girls. In 
the corner the little ones <laughs> it looks like a washi tape really good idea make a washi tape with my girls let's see hit another my disco diva well I start to glue to journaling it's really peaceful make here make this my Rebecca my first digital stamp this is the, the the mother of Frida Kahlo and the other fashion girls. This I use uh, at a Halloween spread. I guess I I think I'm, I put in I put it in Instagram Instagram account. Now the fashion I made this this study to to make some makeup or hats or headpieces. I don't know necklaces. I can use this. And with this uh, binder uh, technique, we can organize everything. I made this fa little fashion show with my paper dolls. I use some pieces of magazine and I try to make some couture style dresses and headpieces here. And I made some layers with those girls. It was really fun doing this, really, really fun. All pieces of magazine, I chose the colors. Look, you can see the sea here, some landscape. And of course, journaling in the back. Here my kawaii style uh, illustrations, my unicorns, my Unimer made unicorns and some beach elements that I used last year. I I put here those bookmarks I made in the in my tutorial. I made some little cuts here, and those pieces to hold the. I didn't want to glue to ruin the the bookmarks. My little mermaids. Kawaii Mermaids by Marcelo. <laughs> Those I can change the, the wig or the the body. <laughs> Playing with these those mermaids. So I, I start to pick everything I, I had and making holes to put here. So I can use as a bookmark or I don't know, changing <laughs> the, the positions is really fun doing this, I repeat, it's really fun. And now this big pocket I put in the end with a little tag. The same process, the same technique. It's really easy to do. I put this little because of this button. I put this little, this little piece of cardboard to cause can ruin it like this. So this protect the the pages of the, the planner, of the sketchbook from the, the bottoms I don't know if I, if I explain myself <laughs> well, this is my project my new sketchbook, my new planner my new, I don't know, organizing stuff I'm completely in love with this ring binder and of course I will make another uh, if another inspirations. I'm really excited to do it. And I can change the the positions of the the subjects and the the chapters. I don't know, it's like a book. <laughs> it's like a portfolio. 
as I, I draw, I illustrate a lot of different styles. This is really important to me. I wish I knew this before. If you want to see more of my work, of my, I, I'm going to put in my Facebook page by Marcelo or my Instagram account by Marcelo Carboni. I'm going to publish there more details, more photos, more videos. And I hope you like this project. I hope this can be a, a little inspiration for you and a little suggestion for you to decorate your own sketchbook or your planner and see you in the next video and in the next project big hug big kisses and bye bye